Hello friends, Namaskar. I'm Dr. Rohit Shetty. I represent Narayan Netralaya Refractive Surgery and Research Unit. We are passing through multiple waves of COVID. The wave one, two, three, and probably beyond. With God's grace and divine providence, we are all safe and 99% of us recover well and we are healthy. I'm speaking to you from an ophthalmologist perspective about what happens after you recover. We get a lot of patients coming to us, calling us about a lot of issues with their face after they have recovered. One thing I've realized dealing with the patients after COVID is they have extremely vague symptoms. They don't follow a pattern. What we see in a test book, they follow completely vague. So we have to go out of the book to understand and treat them. The first thing we get is, I feel tired all the time, bodily, mentally, physically. Like I said in the beginning, your body had, has fought a major illness. Every cell in your body has armored itself to fight against this virus. Allow it to rest. Give time for it to recover. If you don't allow it to rest, it's like they can't be firing all the time. The body is trying to replenish what has been killed, what has been lost, and trying to get you new cells, new fighting force for you to take on and the new virus or the new wave. So give it time. The second question is, I feel tired in my eyes. I can't focus on my object. That's because every muscle in your body has gone into fatigue, especially if you are in, an, in a time when you were needing an oxygen or you were a little serious compared to the rest of your friends. That's how this virus works. So basically, you need your ophthalmologist through uh, video calls or you can go physically after two or three weeks after you recover. They'll give you some drops. There might be change in your glass prescription. There are a lot of accommodation changes happening. The third question we always get is my eye hurts, it burns. I feel as though I'm getting a migraine. COVID also has a lot of changes on your ocular surface, which is the, the cornea and your white part, which is conjunctiva. Also some part of it inside your cornea, which is called corneal nerves. A lot of these changes happen. So there are a lot of therapies for this, specific therapies for this, both in form of drops or even some you know, heat massages, which can be given both in the hospital and also which can be done at home. So your ophthalmologists are going to help you to treat it. The fourth complaint we get is, I get a lot of glare now, which I never had it. I see a light, the scatter. I see ghosts around those lights. It's called ghosting. It's difficult for me to drive. What happens is, in the eye, there is a very synchronous musical event between the, the outer surface and the lens. The lens actually dances to the way the light comes in from outside. This dancing movement of the lens, we call it as accommodation. That means it accommodates according to the way the light comes in. So what goes into your retina makes your image clear. As we go through acute form of stress, as we go through acute form of anxiety, as we go through acute form of uh, of stress on our ocular system, the lens which used to dance beautifully to a synchronized way of how the light comes in completely changes. That means there is an accommodation failure. These accommodative failures are very common during children having exams or one of us when we go through an acute phase of stress. So this needs small exercises and this needs to be checked by our ophthalmologist. This needs to be evaluated and then we can treat it. It's not going to be a permanent issue. If you're planning a surgery, 
on your eye like a cataract or a corneal procedures or a laser it is okay to get it done even after two or three weeks after recovery probably you can give a month if you want to but if you are needing something which is urgent it's okay to get it done if it's an urgency decide decided by your doctor but if it's something elective like a cataract or a lasik surgery you can probably wait for a month or even a two to get it done and you don't need to wait for years or even months together just to get it done because most of your body has recovered back in this 4 to 6 weeks time so this is a very important point you need to be aware of what should i do to improve my health of the eye post covid one give rest rest is the most important thing here stop overthinking when you rest you start overthinking about what is going to happen to every part of the body you start worrying about a lot of other diseases you know an idle mind is a devil's workshop keep you yourself occupied but give rest to the eyes use drops lubricant prescribed by your doctor go back to an eye checkup if you are a diabetic or a hypertensive or if you had any other diseases see what is the baseline has it changed if you need change of glasses get it done eat good food have good rest try to reduce your computer time at least just to 3 to 4 hours just after you recover don't start working exactly like what you did 2 weeks before it's not going to be the same and you will again create changes i said the dancing lens you'll create the lens to become erratic and it's not going to be safe for you and apart from the eye there are few things which you need to be aware of always feel that if there's something out of ordinary like you have sudden palpitations sudden breathlessness after you work for some time or you feel that there's sudden changes in the way you're breathing or you just feel your pulse it's is pumping hard meet your cardiologist meet your physician get a ecg done all this really helps to save your life and also the health in case if there is anything which needs a modification this is the first part of the eye the outside eye the cornea which i just uh, spoke to you my colleague dr chaitra will speak about what happens due to covid the changes you see in the retina and the optic nerve which is very important especially if you're a diabetic hypertensive or you have some age related changes stay safe i'm sure we will any waves we get i'm sure we are going to beat it thank you hi everybody i'm dr chaitra as uh, dr rohit just uh, covered about the anterior segment manifestations what we mean by the front of the eye how does covid affect the eye and uh, what are the symptoms and what are the signs that we can see when you come for an examination i will elaborate a little more about what can affect the back portion or the posterior segment of the eye now we are going through the second wave and we've seen very very severe uh, you know manifestation of covid infection so uh, how does it affect the eye and uh, what are some of the findings that we are seeing in patients who are coming to us after their infection uh, patients come with us for two reasons one is they actually have symptoms which is blurring of vision when it is very very important that we check their retina check their vision we do a complete assessment and there are some patients who are worried that uh, you know i've been infected with covid uh, can you please let me know if i've had any side effects or any after uh, you know uh, consequences of the infection so we're seeing these two different categories of patients and the third category of patients is those who have uh, pre existing eye conditions it could be even systemic illnesses like diabetes or hypertension so what are the main things that we have seen in these patients uh, most importantly you should understand that uh, the eye is an extension of the neurological system the optic nerve connects our eye to the brain so all the impulses that come in the eye are carried to the brain through the optic nerve so when either of them are inflamed it is called as optic neuritis for the optic nerve and retinitis when the retina is involved so these are some of the uh, major problems that we are seeing in patients and what happens is that it does not only occur in patients as a new problem it also can occur in patients who had it before and now it's getting reactivated 
Now what are the other things? Many of them come with innocuous hemorrhages in the retina which means we are just seeing them on routine examination. They may not actually give rise to any symptoms which is when a routine examination becomes extremely important. Other conditions are vascular occlusions. What do you mean by that? It could be veins or arteries blocked. Here again we are seeing it either during COVID infection or immediately after the infection. These are some conditions that can actually cause some amount of permanent deficit if it is not detected early or treated immediately. One other condition is something called a CSCR or Central Serous Retinopathy. This is again a condition that occurs due to chronic intake or a high intake of steroids. It could be because of stress, both of which are very, very common in patients with COVID. So even if you've had CSCR before, it could get reactivated or it could occur as a new condition. Again, very important that you see us as soon as you have blurring of your central vision or any haziness. So friends, you may have recovered from COVID, but please don't let your guard down. Come for a routine examination or definitely if you have any symptoms and please do continue your social distancing. Go for your vaccination after at least 8 weeks of recovering from the illness and continue to wear your mask. Thank you.